Problem 20. An integer between 1,000 and 9,999 inclusive is chosen at random. What is the probability that it is an odd integer whose digits are all distinct? Well, the definition of an odd digit, right, is where it doesn't end in a multiple of 2, right? Because 2 times the number is required to make this number an even number. So as long as I don't have a factor of 2 in it, I'm fine. That would be an odd number. For example, 1 times 3 times 5 times 7, right? I don't have a 2 within this uh, multiple. Therefore, this will give me an odd number. So 15 times 7, right? What is that? Well, that is equal to 105. 105, obviously, is not an even number. So the idea here is, as long as it ends in an even number, it will be, as long as the unit digit is even, this number will be even. So therefore, we can have this idea and we can start giving ourselves combinations. This can only be 1, 3, 5, 7 or 9. It can't be 0. Now, 0 is neither odd or even, but in the case of numbers here, 0 would signify an even number. So we cannot have 0, therefore we have 5 total possibility because we only have 5 total odd integers. What about, um, let's go here, the most restrictive case, because in the thousands digit, it cannot be 0. If this were 0, it would be a 3 digit number. So therefore, how many terms can be go here? Well, terms that are in between, right, that as long as it's not a unit digit, doesn't contribute to the odd or even nature of the entire term. For example, 2, 2, 2, 5, right? That is still odd, even though 2, 2, and 2, they're all even. So therefore, from this understanding, we can say that we have how many terms? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, all the way on until 9. We have 9 total possibilities, but wait a minute, we overcounted. Because we already used a number, such as 1, 3, 5, 7, or 9, as the unit digit, and that must have came from this overall series, right? So therefore, we must subtract 1 because this one term is used in the unit digit, so that must give 8 total possibilities. Now, this here would have how many possibilities? It would have from 0, 1, 2, 3, all the way until 9, because remember, zeros in between the numbers doesn't matter. It, it will still preserve the four-digit nature. So if I have a, if I include zero here, it would be fine. But remember, I used up one number. How many total numbers are there? There's 10 numbers, right? But I used up already one term within this overall sequence for the units digit, but then I used another one for the thousands digit. So we have 10 minus 1 minus 1, we got 8. We have 8 total possibilities here. Now, how many total choices are for this one? Well, likewise, it's from 0 all the way until 9. We have 10 possible choices, but we used one term for the units digit, we used one term for the hundreds digit, we used one term for the thousands digit. Therefore, we have 7 total possibilities going right here. So uh, multiplying this out will give us our answer. What is 8 times 8 times 7 times 5? Well, 8 times 5 is 40, right? 8 times 7 is 50. So what is 56 times 4? Well, that is 2240, so you're fine, or 2240, but we're trying to find a probability here. So these are all the total possible um, numbers that can be created. But 2240, how many total number of four-digit terms are there? Well, that's much more easier to count, right? Because here, obviously, we have how many? We have no restriction, so it's 0 all the way to 10, but we cannot have 0. So it's 1, um, or 0 to 9, so it's 1 to 9, so you have 9 top possible terms, 9 possible terms, or how many are here? It's 0 to 9, so that's actually 10 possible sequences, same for here, right, and same for here. 0 to 9, 0 to 9, 0 to 9, so this must be equal to 9, 0, 0, 0, it's 9,000. So do they have it simplified? Well, they do have a simplified, so we must simplify this. Well, the, the ending zeros cancel, right? The last two terms are all divisible by 4, so let's divide it by 4. This is equal to 56 over 225, right? Uh, 2 times 4, 2, yep. 56 over 225, let's see this is an answer choice. 56 over 225, yep, that's choice B, and we are done.